Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to share Jeremiah Brent's advice for sourcing art for your home and Nate Berger's love for vintage lighting. But if you're new to this channel, make sure you're subscribed if you want to receive such content in the near future. Sourcing art for your home is important for several reasons as it can significantly impact both the aesthetic and emotional aspects of your living space. Jeremiah recently shared a video on his Instagram where he gave tips for sourcing art for your home. Let's check it out. Okay, I get a lot of questions from people about art and why I don't pretend to be an art aficionado. I am going to give you some advice and things and keywords that I look for when searching for art in our own home. Obviously, art's so subjective. But in our own space, we like things that are really clean and simple and quiet. Um, I think because we're around so much so often when it comes to our home and our space with the art and even the furniture and palette, I just want relaxing. As you can see, I'm always looking for contemporary, modern, transitional. With this, um, I wanted something mixed medium and acrylic. This piece, again, I love. I always look for geometric, um, cubist is a really interesting thing to search for. And then I always search for French 30s, 40s, and 50s. For me though, that design era especially was really interesting in France and Italy specifically. Another thing that is really important to Nate and I when it comes to our art pieces, this is a really great mirror. You can find them usually on any um, secondhand website or in any vintage store. But if you're searching online, look for French gilt mirror. And then obviously my favorite type of art, pottery. These are pieces that we've obviously just kind of collected over the years. Some of them were, you know, $20 and some of them were more. We always look where we're, wherever we go for ceramics. We keep the palette consistent so that they can be grouped together if you want. And then it kind of goes anywhere in your house. In some resourcing art for your home is important because it allows you to create a space that is not visually appealing but also reflective of your personality, values and experiences. Art has the power to enrich your living environment and contribute to a sense of well-being and cultural appreciation. Remember, the most important aspect of sourcing art for your home is to choose pieces that bring you joy and enhance the overall atmosphere of your living space. For the next video, I have Nate Burke's love for vintage lighting. Vintage lighting holds importance for several reasons, both in terms of design aesthetics and practical considerations. Vintage lighting is important for its ability to contribute to a unique and visually appealing home environment. Its historical and cultural significance, its sustainable aspects and the potential for quality craftsmanship and investment value. Nate Burkis uploaded a series of video clips on his Instagram where he shared his love for vintage lighting. Let's hear what Nate has to say. So this is one of my all-time favorite things to do that most design firms actually don't do. But when we have walls and rooms filled with bookshelves, we need really great vintage things that not everybody has. And so wherever I am in the country, if there's a local antique mall, I'm there. One place where you can definitely save money but not sacrifice finding an amazing thing with a lot of character and patination is antique lighting. So I know I've talked about this in the past, but this vintage lantern in its original finish was under $300 and it hangs above my desk in my New York City office. So before you hit the catalogs, take a look at what you can find online, eBay, Etsy, Cherish, Facebook Marketplace. Those are great sources. Hey guys, so one thing that has always been important in all of my design products and definitely in my own homes is using vintage lighting. I think vintage lighting is an opportunity for you to really have a lot of personality. Sure, you could go on a catalog and you know, on a website and find something new and I'm sure it would be beautiful, but if you really scour like the auction sites, even like the local antiques malls, you'll find something really amazing that not everybody has. So this is a perfect example. We have a pair of these sconces and we use them first in our LA home. And then we decided to use one in the stairwell in New York City. So I really love the architecture of this. If you just took away this light and had a plain white wall, the feeling would be completely different. So these are the stairs that go down to the children's room. And this is what we keep on at night for our kids, for the cat, 
and for us because it's cool. That's it for the video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section.